everybody and welcome back to the seven smushed eggy channel woo round of applause it's been like it's been a while since i made a review last time and i'm sorry what do you want me to say i've been really lazy but to make it up to you meet ratrick um today we're going to be reviewing um all sleeping with sirens albums Oh, I look kind of pretty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be reviewing All Sleeping of Sirens albums because a new one just came out this month. So I can actually do the video. <laughs> so the very first album that we will be reviewing is With Ears to See and Eyes to Hear. No, I did not make that shit up. That is actually what the album is called. I have no idea what the hell it means. It's kind of confusing. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like everyone's introduction to Sleeping of Sirens. This is what people call their only good album, which um, I disagree. This album is a classic. I'm going to straight up give it an, an A. Um, it's not an S to me, though. I'm sorry. It's very amateur -y. There's a lot of the edgy long song titles but not all of them go in very hard of course the most iconic ones being if i'm james dean you're aubrey hepburn pretty sure that's like that's the song everyone knows but i actually prefer the acoustic version so <laughs> sorry a if you catch me looking at my computer it's because i'm trying to recall the song titles because they're so long but my favorite songs on this album are Don't Fall Asleep at the Helm, You Kill Me in a Good Way, and Let Love Bleed Red. Um, the reason why I'm not giving it an S is because there's a lot of forgettable tracks on this album. Ones that I honestly, like, I'm looking at the title and I'm like, nothing is popping up in my brain. So to me, that's kind of a signifying factor that it wasn't that interesting and also the dance party track is just atrocious it's giving fallout boy vibes i don't it's giving like early panic at the disco but without the charm you know what i mean like this should have been cut i'm like i'm like, i just like dude this this the lighting today i just look so pretty um the next album is Let's cheers, let's, what the fuck? Let's cheers to this. I think it should be called let's cheer to this because holy fuck, that is, so far they be making the weirdest fucking song the band, the album titles. Okay, so this one is an SS. This is a very good album. This is actually the first album I ever heard and I thought Kellen Quinn was a girl, believe it or not. I was like, what a pretty voice she has. And then it turned out he had a penis. Um, do I even have to say anything? Like, this whole album is just really, really good. It's starting to um, stray from the traditional, like, emo scene. But honestly, I think Kellen actually benefits from this. Um, everyone knows If You Can't Hang. That's, like, the classic beat. It's a classic song. It's a classic everything you know what i'm saying um but i really like all all my heart the song is so sweet it reminds me of charlie if you're watching this charlie this one's for you but yeah i also really like postcards and polaroids um a trophy father's trophy son i believe yeah I mean, that's literally Daddy Issues Incarnate, and that's like every woman I know. So everyone can relate to that song. And also, Who Are You Now? And basically, all the songs are good. The next album is their fully acoustic album. It's actually an EP. If you were a movie, this would be your soundtrack. This is also going to be an SS for me. It's completely different tonally, but I don't know. It's just so beautiful. I mean, I don't think anyone listens to sleeping with sirens because kellen quinn is like a vocal not vocal lyrical genius because he's not he's very simplistic very cheesy very corny at times even pretty cringy but sleeping with sirens is a guilty pleasure and if you're like a hopeless romantic like me then this kind of album or ep is 
perfect for you. It's so sweet. It's so corny. It's so pleasant to listen to. I actually auditioned to my acapella group singing Stomach Tied in Knots, which is like really embarrassing. <laughs> my choir teacher probably was like, girl. Sorry, that was mean. Um, anyways, um, the next album is Feel, and this might be a controversial take, but I think this is a good album. I'm gonna give it an A, though. It's not my favorite, but I do think people are pretty unnecessarily hard on it. People at this point say, um, this is where Sleeping with Sirens really began to fall off, but trust me, if you think feel is bad, it gets way worse. I'm not going to say every song on this album is a hit because it definitely isn't. I fucking hate Congratulations because everyone hates Machine Gun Kelly. I think that's common knowledge, just like the fact that we breathe oxygen. So, of course that song fucking sucks. But there are some actually really cool songs on this. I like feel. I like free now. Okay, I actually fucked it up. It wasn't Congratulations that Machine Gun Kelly is on. It's Alone, but I also do not like Congratulations still, so um, both of those songs are really bad. But pretty much all the other ones on this song, I mean, on this um, album are pretty listenable. The Deja Vu song um, is so cringe, but I actually really like it. It, it pumps me up, dude. I mean, do I... Now, I've been merciful. I've been gracious, and I've excused feel, but in my opinion, madness is when I started to get a little bit worried that the direction Swimming with Sirens is taking, because this album is madness. It's a fucking mess. I'm giving it a- I'm gonna give it a C because there are, like, a few songs that I actually don't mind, but the cringe on this album is unlistenable. Songs like Better Off Dead and Kick Me, it's like, dude, you're in your 30s. Stop. It's not cute. And, dude, like, just thinking about it. And the, 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 the style changes. It's like, this whole album is, like, all over the place, and it's really confusing. Like, you go from, like, Kick Me to fucking, um, November. <laughs> Like, this album's only saving grace is two chord. Like, that song is a banger. But other than that, the whole album, it just feels like it doesn't know what it's trying to be. It sounds like it's trying to let go of, like, the emo sound that um, has honestly been holding it back and going more for its indie sound. But it's doing both at the same time, it's just switching very abruptly and it doesn't flow. Like this album does not flow at all and it's just a mess of ideas. So that's why I'm giving it a C. I look bald, bro. I'm not bald, I promise. I'm not Walter White. But the next album, make sure you took your antidepressants today because gossip is the most boring uninspired album they have ever made and it made me stop listening to sleeping with sirens for a while because i'm like girl you gave me madness and then you gave me gossip complete it, they went from like emo rock to like indie rock to um pop but the most boring pop imaginable literally i don't remember a single song from this album except for gossip that song's actually pretty catchy but I've listened to this album around like four times and I don't remember any other fucking song. And I was really trying. Like, I was really trying. This is a D. Maybe even an F. Okay, so the album that actually got me back into Sleeping with Sirens, where you're gonna wash me with my makeup off, it's almost my shower time. <laughs> so anyways, um, how it feels to be lost. Um, this one's an S. No, this one's an SS, actually. I feel like... I don't know. This one's actually my favorite Sleeping With Sirens album. It came out in 2019. Um, almost 10 years since the first album. And I feel like they really returned to form. I don't know. Like, yeah, it has the cringy lyrics. You can't take all the songs super seriously. But, like, it's not 
like unlistenable. I actually really like it. And um this album is kind of underrated. Like I don't see anyone talking about it. I really really like it. Um and the acoustic versions on the deluxe version are so good. I'd be listening to that. Thank God for filters, am I right? <laughs> um so this leads us to the final album, the one that just came out this year, this month. Um, complete collapse. Oh my god, you can see my PJ pants. That's embarrassing. But this album is pretty okay. I probably need to listen to it a bit more. I don't like it as much as how it feels to be lost, but I'm gonna give it an A. That's how I'm feeling right now. I might change my mind later. There are some songs that I cannot stand. There's like this one where Kellen like pitch shifts his voice even higher than it already is and it's like distorted and it literally just sounds like an Alvin and the Chipmunks song. I don't think I'm ever going to give that song a second chance but I really like Mr. Nice Guy and Us and Family Tree because you know angst and it has that trophy father trophy son vibe. Okay well that was all the albums. Um, I'm sorry that's been kind of like loud in the background literally the quiet floor but not really quiet sorry it's like so passive aggressive but um peep princess peach these are my pjs i know peep the fit peep the fit um if you're wondering why i didn't cover the live album or the one album that kind of is like a collection of the greatest hits is because eh, not really necessary but thank you for watching i hope that you en you enjoy and i'll be back whenever i feel like it bye